everyone, it's Miss Jones and welcome to our art lesson. For the past few weeks, we've been exploring the wonderful world of color. We've learned about the primary colors, secondary colors, and even began talking about specific groupings of colors called color schemes. Today, we're going to look at two very common color schemes, warm colors and cool colors. Warm colors are those like red, orange, and yellow. They make us think of sunlight and also have us feel toasty and warm inside. Cool colors are those like blue, green, and purple. They make us think of peaceful things like winter skies and lakes. For our project today, we're going to be using both warm and cool colors. So what you're going to need is a blank piece of paper, a pencil for sketching. If you'd like to have a marker to go over your lines, you can. I might do that just so you can see them better. And you're also going to need something to color with. So you can use anything you like, crayons, colored pencils, or markers. I think I'm probably going to use colored pencils today and maybe a few markers. Um, we'll kind of see how I'm feeling. Um, but how we're going to start today is we're going to be drawing a scene that's kind of two opposites because warm and cold colors are essentially opposites. They're on the opposite side of the color wheel from each other. And like I mentioned, warm colors usually make us think of sunlight. So we're going to be doing a day scene in warm colors while cool colors so in our day night scene, um, we're going to be drawing um, our house or a home because um, we're in our house usually during the day and mostly at night. Um, so we're going to start by drawing our house in the middle of our picture here. So we're going to first draw our house kind of in the middle of our page. So um, we're going to draw a rectangle first. So go ahead and draw a, a rectangle kind of in the middle of your piece of paper there. And now for our house, we want to make our house look maybe a little bit more three dimensional, like it's taking up some space. So we're going to be drawing um, another kind of square here or rectangle off to the side. Kind of like that. And on top of our little rectangle here, we're gonna draw a triangle. That's gonna be for our roof. So we'll draw a triangle there. And see how this is slanted here, right on this part? We're going to draw another slanted line on this side of our other triangle. So we're making our roof. So here's our triangle on top of our um, kind of small, tall rectangle. And now we're gonna do a slanted line that's gonna go in off of our rectangle and draw a straight line connecting those two. So now we have more of like a 3D kind of house with a roof. Um, I'm just gonna start too by drawing a, um, adding some details to my house. So I'm gonna draw a door here, the doorknob, and I might draw some windows. So I'm going to draw some squares, maybe with some um, curtains in them. Curtains in my windows. I'm going to draw one over here as well. There we go. Um, and I also want to add um, maybe a chimney up here. So I'm going to draw kind of a rectangle with a little square on top. Maybe I'll do some smoke coming out of there. Um, and I might wanna add a few more details. Um, I might add maybe kind of like a pattern to my roof, kind of like a shingle pattern. And then maybe on my house, I'll do some stripes. I 
but you can maybe leave your house blank until you color it if you want. Um, and the last things I'm going to do is I'm gonna work, now I've kind of got my house done, so I'm gonna do the outside of my house. I'm gonna do kind of some land, I'm show that it's on the ground here. So I'm gonna draw kind of um, land in the background. I wanna draw a um, steps. So I wanna make it look like that I am standing in front of the house. So instead of doing a path just straight down, I'm going to kind of fan out my pathway, kind of like this. So then it looks like I'm kind of walking down this pathway, if you will. So instead of drawing your pathway just straight from your door, try angling out your lines and kind of see how that looks. Um, I might add um, some bushes out front. So maybe I'll add kind of some flower bushes. Since it's in front of my house, I'm going to erase that line. Same one over here. There we go. So I kind of have a nice yard now. And the final thing I wanna do is um, I'm going to make this day and night. So I kind of have just a plain house picture here, but I wanna make them, uh, I wanna do my opposite. So I have one kind of part of my house with day and one part with night. So um, you can get a ruler if you'd like, or you can do this by hand. And we're just gonna draw right through the center of our house. We're gonna draw a line. And that's gonna be kind of our cutoff of where our day is and where our night is. So um, on pick which side you want to be day or night. And in your night side, go ahead and draw a moon. I'm gonna draw a crescent moon but you could do um, a full moon if you wanted. There we go, and maybe I'll add some stars. And then on this side, I'm gonna do a sun. So I'm gonna make my sun kind of big and bright here. <laughs> Awesome. So there we go. So I kind of have my drawing done now. So I can start by adding my color. If you want, you can go over your um, picture in pen. If you want to make it pop a little bit more, um, I might do that a little bit just so you can see my lines a little bit better. I went ahead and outlined my drawing. You don't have to do that. Um, but now we get to get to the fun part, which is coloring. So just a reminder, on our day part, so we have our house divided in half. So on this half with our sun, that's going to be our day. So we're only going to use warm colors. Those are colors like red, orange, and yellow. So um, colors like this, these are warm, toasty colors. That's going to be our day colors here. On our nighttime section, we're only going to be using blue, green, and purple. So these are the only colors we're going to be using. Um, you can use light green, dark green, light blue, dark blue, um, indigo, whatever, but they should all be cool colors. So on the night side, we're using this. So if you want to do stars, your stars can't be yellow. They have to be one of these colors. All right, so um, no mixing and matching. We're keeping um, this on this side, uh, warm on uh, sun side, um, cool on night side, okay? So you can kind of start adding to your drawing using your colors and we'll kind of see when it's all done.
see the difference between the uh, warm color scheme and the cool color scheme. Um, when we look at these two halves, we kind of see um, that these colors are really bright, make us feel warm and sunny and hot almost, nice and toasty inside. Um, whereas we look at this side, it makes us feel a little bit more peaceful, um, maybe cooler, a little um, sleepy almost. So these two um, different color schemes definitely give off a different feeling and a different mood. And um, they're great color schemes to use if you're trying to um, show a certain setting or temperature. Um, so yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this project. Um, I love my house. I think it's really fun to see it kind of in these two opposites that contrast each other. Um, I can't wait to see uh, your houses and how um, you decorated all of them with these fun colors. So thank you everyone. I hope you have a great week and that you enjoyed this video. Bye.